Section 11.7, Volume in Moles, Avogadro's Law. In our study of the gas laws, we have looked at changes in properties for a specified amount, N, of gas. Now we will consider how the properties of a gas change when there is a change in the number of moles, or grams, of the gas. When you blow up a balloon, its volume increases because you add more air molecules. If the balloon has a small hole in it and air leaks out, causing the volume to decrease. In 1811, Amadeo Avogadro formulated Avogadro's law, which stated that the volume of a gas is directly related to the moles of gas when the temperature and pressure uh, does not change. For example, if the number of moles of gas is doubled, then the volume will double as long as we do not change the pressure or temperature. At constant pressure and temperature, we can write Avogadro's law as follows. Volume 1 over number of moles of gas 1 equals volume 2 divided by number of gas walls, uh, gas 2. Figure 11.7, Avogadro's Law. The volume of gas is directly related to the number of moles of the gas. If the number of moles is doubled, the volume must double at constant pressure and temperature. STP and molar volume. Using Avogadro's law, we can say that any two gases will have equal volumes if they contain the same number of moles at the same temperature and pressure. To help us make comparison between different gases, arbitrary conditions called standard temperature, which is 273 degrees Kelvin, and standard pressure, one atmosphere, together abbreviated STP, was selected by scientists. STP conditions. Standard temperature is exactly 0 degrees Celsius, which is 273 degrees Kelvin. Standard pressure is exactly 1 atmosphere at 760 millimeters mercury. At STP, 1 mole of gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters, which is about the same as the volume of 3 basketballs. This volume, 22.4 liters of any gas, is called the molar volume. Figure 11.8, Avogadro's law indicates that one mole of any gas at STP has a vo uh, volume of 22.4 liters. When a gas at STP conditions, zero Celsius and one atmosphere, its molar volume can be written as a conversion factor and used to convert between the number of moles of gas and its volume in liters. One mole of gas is equal to 22.4 liters at STP. The molar volume conversion factors is one mole of gas over or per 22.4 liters at STP and 22.4 liters at STP per one mole of gas. Density of gas at standard temperature and pressure. We have seen that at the same temperature and pressure, one mole of gas occupies the same volume. Thus, the density, which is grams per liter, of any gas depends on its molar mass. For example, at STP, oxygen has a density of 1.43 grams per liter, while the carbon dioxide that we exhale has a density of 1.96 grams per liter. A bubble or a balloon filled with carbon dioxide would settle to the ground because the density of carbon dioxide is greater than the density of air, which is, is 1.26 grams per liter. On the other hand, balloons filled with helium rise in the air because the helium has a density of 0.179 grams per liter, which is less dense than air. For any gas at STP, you can calculate the density using the molar mass and the molar volume as shown in sample problem 11.9.